Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Steel Donut. My name is Matt. With me today is Connor. Everybody! Okay. And Blake. Uh, hey, don't you talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back with more fan letters by Riley Pool 27 uh, yeah. Last we left off, uh, Riley Pool gave a very valuable book to a person he probably shouldn't trust. And it's probably yep. not going to turn out bad oh. for him. So. Also, yep. rumor has it Riley Pool twenty seven author cried writing this chapter. <laughs> yep. Uh, so anyway, this is going to be part five of fan letters. This will cover chapters nine and ten. Mm-hmm. All right. Alrighty. So let's get started. After leaving the diner, Riley went back into the tunnel Why? so he could find Abigail and Ben. Why not just call them? You dumb fuck. Wait, and what? do that shit again. You think Ben's going to want to pick him up? <laughs> Ah, oh, shit, Riley, you got lost and ended up at that same freaking diner once again? No, he's gonna, no, he's not gonna beat the diner, he's gonna walk all the way to the library again. Ah, oh, shit, Riley, you got lost and ended up in that stupid library. You almost hit the library once... again? Come on! Yeah, yeah, but just barely swerved out of its way. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the library look, look doesn't even a... move and you still almost keep getting all hit right. by it. Wait, 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 look how much of a dumbass he is here, look at this. Uh, he rounded the corner and heard a noise up ahead. <laughs> Who's there? It, ben? Riley called out. Like, gee, what a great idea. Go back to where your attacker was, and then when you hear m- noise, just start shouting so he knows it might, it's you. <laughs> Matthew, yeah. will you come kick my ass, please? Oh, well, he's going to, trust me. Matthew stepped forward and made a fist with his hand. <laughs> he struck <laughs> Riley no, hard no, wait. in the stomach. Matthew, Matthew stepped forward and made a fist with his dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he put one into Riley's stomach and one up his butt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He struck Riley hard in the stomach, Ooh. making him lose his breath for a moment. <laughs> wow, he struck Riley so hard he lost his own breath. He's really out of shape. <laughs> oh, God, well, I touched you way too hard. Well, he did get a stitch in his side <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, Matthew pinned against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> he pinned himself, I guess. He He's not pinned. good at this whole beatdown thing. <laughs> oh, it looks like he put himself down for the count, folks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew pinned against the wall, left hand tightly gripping his upper arm. <laughs> Look, this is reads out like two people who have no idea what they're doing trying to play. Riley's just way. staring as Matthew shadow boxing himself. <laughs> <laughs> and he's losing. <laughs> yeah. He seems to get choke slammed by an invisible force. Um the blow had left him gasping for air as he, struggled, <laughs> as he struggled to push the taller man away from him. I He's like, Riley, get away. Not. I need to catch my breath. Get away. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I, I don't know why I'm doing this. Riley, you have to run for help. <laughs> man, Matthew's like, I'm sorry, Riley. I was going to beat you up, but I'm just so fucking mad at it. <laughs> I was going to beat you up, and I got so mad, I beat myself up. <laughs> Uh, Matthew raised his fist again, landing a blow on Riley's cheek. Dude, I'm imagining Matthew is this huge motherfucker, and Riley is this tiny little bitch. So, (laughs) when he punches him like that, I'm imagining Riley dying on the spot. (laughs) Just turning into blood and guts on the wall. It's like Raccoon versus Krillin. Give me the book, Riley. I don't have it. Riley told him. I hit it. Okay. There was a purplish bruise forming under his eye. The bright colors. Oh yeah, that purple, that bright purple. The uh, bright. Like, co- it, it looks. Like, it looks like somebody just slid a rave tube underneath his skin. Yeah. <laughs> the bright colors contrasting sharply with his pale skin. His beautiful pale skin that I'd long to touch. Riley Pool Twenty Seven. Yeah. Riley stared angrily up at Matthew, his blue eyes showing pain. His beautiful blue eyes that I'd love to look into. Oh. Taking a deep breath, he spoke. Let me go. I don't have the book. Matthew squeezed Riley's arm tighter, making the young man wince <clears throat> visibly. Oh yeah, that arm squeeze. <laughs> that Six. dreadful arm squeeze. The legendary squeeze. Two people are doing it's like, like the an Vulcan MMA death fight, <laughs> and one person just wraps his legs around the other dude's arm and just squeezes. He's like, oh, my fucking arm. <laughs> ah, I got a tap! I got a tap! Um, he leaned forward until he was an inch away from Riley's face. Tell me where the book is. Oh, oh, oh. Don't do that to me. 
<laughs> Matthew mm-hmm. whispered. Mm-hmm. No. Riley muttered, shaking his head mm-hmm. emphatically. <laughs> <laughs> they stared at each other for a moment. Matthew roughly grabbed Riley's other arm. Oh, oh my god, fuck. getting a bit the double arm we? squeeze. <laughs> oh, how is he gonna get out of this fall? How is he gonna survive the double arm squeeze? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has had both arms squeezed and made it out alive here. <laughs> They've all died in the ring. Why don't we ban this move? I don't know. <laughs> Riley is going for the ropes with the double arm squeeze. He just can't reach. Yeah. He's, like I said, he's going to die. <laughs> oh, hang on a second. I'm going to do this. Tell... Me where yeah. it is. Also, um, yeah. Connor, you're gonna get a wonderful little Portman too of a word. He shouted, enunciating <laughs> each word. Yeah, it's a combination of word. announce and enunciate. So he's enunciating. Yeah, he's saying a noun each time he does it. Except one of them is a verb, um, and one of them is a pronoun. Riley's arms were bruised. Riley's arms were bruised, and with every shove, his skull was striking the stone wall behind him. Or he should be fucking nice. dead. <laughs> Please, you know, keeps, r- if, he, if he got slammed against the wall that many times, I mean, he shouldn't be conscious anymore. I don't hear this stupid book, Matthew. You're hurting me. Let go. Like you'd think he Jeez. was just giving him an arm squeeze. Like imagine, Connor, if I grabbed you by the arms and kept slamming your head against a cave wall, would you just be like, "Ah, oh, you're hurting me. Let me go." Or would you be like, oh my god, my fucking head. Well, if he wasn't a child already, he'll turn into one by the time this is over. Well, you see, he has no brain, so he can't incur brain damage. Oh, I see. <laughs> Riley tried to break away from Matthew's grip again. Unsuccessfully. As mm. Matthew's grip on his arms... Just like were... that spelling was unsuccessful. <laughs> yeah. As Matthew's grip on his arms were keeping him pinned against the wall. Let's see, that double arm squeeze, absolutely unescapable. <laughs> double, yeah, yeah. Like 100% death rate from the double arm squeeze. <laughs> One weird trick. Karate instructors hate him. Yeah. <laughs> Riley heard the faint sound of voices echoing off the tunnel and turned his head in the direction of the sound. Ben! Abigail! Over here! Abigail, Riley. kick this guy's ass for me. <laughs> Riley shouted, hearing the voices get louder. Shut up, Riley. I like to imagine that's Ben. <laughs> Shut, Shut up, Riley. Riley. Shut oh, the fuck up, fuck. Riley. Shut the fuck up, or I'm gonna have to shut you up for you. Well, Keep Ri- hitting them, Matthew. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Riley... What? Riley and Matthew had to shut their eyes tight as the tunnel was suddenly engulfed in the light of Ben's flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> the first thing that grabbed Ben's attention was the ugly bruise on his friend's face. Not his... F- oh my not God. the guy He's... pinning him to the fucking wall. The yeah. bruise on his face. Guess what? Yeah. Uh, and the iron grip Matthew had on Riley's arm. <laughs> Ben's like, oh my God, the double arm squeeze? Should we call, should we call in a SWAT oh team? Oh my God. It's the method of legend itself, right here. I never thought I'd see it. Oh my god. The the mystical technique. He's he's in such awe that he doesn't even stop him. It really does exist. (laughs) Like Kumite. Yeah. Hey! Ben shouted, rushing forward to his friend's aid. Let him go right now. Matthew complied. (laughs) That was easy. Okay. <laughs> all all he had to do to stop was for anyone except Riley. We were just effing around, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he doesn't take orders from children. Yeah. Releasing Riley and stepping a few feet back, Ben quickly pulled Riley to the side of the room, a few feet away from both Matthew and Peter. He'll give him a spanking. <laughs> ben put his hand on Riley's chin and tilted it a little to look at the damage. And then he mm. like leaned in for a kiss. Riley pulled 27. I was about to say that. Yeah. That looks painful. Ben remarked, feeling his anger rising. You need me oh, to... I'm so mad at your pain! Yeah, he's like, you okay? Riley nodded, before leaning ag- against the wall beside Abigail. <clears throat> his face hurt like hell, but he didn't want to admit that to anybody. <laughs> what a fucking baby. Where's the book? Abigail asked him, <laughs> confused. Mad you wanted to sell it for profit, so I hid it from him. Ben stared at Riley. Is the book safe? 
Yeah. No ending punctuation. Jiggity. Yeah. Yeah. P- Peter looked at Matthew, looking for an explanation. <laughs> All this. Matthew, what the hell, man? Peter asked. You attack Royley. He's he's been helping us search these tunnels for ages. What the hell were you thinking? My God, this reads out like an NPC, like from Call of Duty. Like, what the hell? You attacked your squad mate. Game over. Yeah. <laughs> Matthew shrugged his shoulders, glaring at Peter. It's simple. He wouldn't give me the book, and you attacked him for that. That book is going to my grandmother, not to sell for profit. It belongs in a museum. <laughs> and it belongs with my grandmother. in a museum. It belongs Dude. with my grandmother and in a museum. Yeah, I guess <laughs> she better live in that museum too. Or... She's so old, they put her in the museum. Oh my god, she's one of the displays. The world's <laughs> oldest person. Like, like they, they put her in a case next to the book, and if you pull a little string, it tugs on her toe, and she tells you about the book. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the 1700s, this book blah, 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 blah. Back in the 1700s, me and my husband, Dick Borer, found this book. <laughs> Closed captioning provided free of charge by the Smithsonian. Exactly. I was going to say one of the Moody Bible Institute. Oh, oh the Moody Bible Institute. <laughs> Your husband's Dick Borer. Yeah. <laughs> he wouldn't be seen near the evil Smithsonian. Yeah. <laughs> Peter, <coughs> Peter, we've been searching these tunnels for two years. We'd have found the book and split the money. Your grandma was offering in half. Now that she's hired Ben and Riley to help us, it means we'll be getting less money. Aww. Peter stared at his friend, aghast. This is about money? Seriously? You just hurt Riley and tried to steal grandma's book over money? What who, the fuck else was he going to do it the over? the best reason to try who, to steal your grandma's Who needs money? Book. I mean, I don't know about you or anybody else, but I'm perfectly fine li- living off the riches of my affluent grandmother, and I assume everyone else is in just the same situation. Well, like, I, like what, what the heck? You did this over money? Like, what did he expect? Like, do people just normally attack each I'd other have, I'd have been and mad try to if steal he things for other like, reasons? I'd have been mad if he did it over to use his, like, toilet paper, you know? Money's yeah. probably the best reason to try to steal a priceless book. Yeah. I was about to say, yeah. You tried, you tried to take these diamonds to sell them. What a fuck! I was going to use them as you? anal beads. You trying to steal all these books? What for? Yeah. The thought of anyone hurting someone he cared about infuriated Ben. Uh. Ben walked forward towards Peter and Matthew, his hands balling into fists at his sides. Oh man, he's about to go like KO Ben times ten. <laughs> Oh, he's about yeah. to go Super Saiyan. The distur- the mu- the disturbed song, you know, comes in. <laughs> yeah. da, 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 da. He's like, I'm Peter. feeling indestructible. <laughs> Peter watched as Ben stepped towards Matthew, unsure of what to do. It felt like he was stuck in the middle of the fighting. Except you're totally not, because like, you're, you're somebody else is fighting now. Maybe it's like the eye of the storm. Matthew and Riley were fighting, and now it's calm, and then Ben and Matthew are going to start fighting. <laughs> they're going to have, like, a tournament bracket. They're going to drive... They're going to, like, draw a five-by-five five yeah. square on the ground, stick a referee in there, and have a fight. <laughs> yeah. Peter believed Ben and Riley to be right in trying to protect the book from his friend, but at the same time, he still felt a deep sense of loyalty for his childhood friend. Yeah, it's about money. You know I've been struggling for months to pay my bills. All I want is the book. Maybe if you'd be working (laughs) instead of just going down into tunnels for weeks on end. I was about to say, maybe if you had a job. Maybe if you had a job. (laughs) Uh, Matthew started to say, but was quickly stopped when Ben cut him off. How dare you hurt him? What the hell is wrong with you? His voice was getting louder. Matthew attacked him first. Oh, see, they were just in the eye of the storm. <laughs> they got they got back to fighting. They were just in the middle of the fighting. Oh, uh, man. So he tells me this is going to be the best choreography since Staps. Matthew attacked him first, grabbing a handful of Ben's jacket and landing a punch on his I face. I want this jacket. <laughs> ben was quick to strike back. The two men ended up trading blows until Ben overpowered him and pinned him. Wow! To the floor. He got overpowered by like a forty-year-old man. Yeah. Hey, we're talking about Nick Cage, though. Yeah. I guess that's true. The Cage. Ben kneeling over him as he thrashed about, trying to get away. He put him in the old sharpshooter. 
No, he what he did in, was he he squeezed his arm. He put arms. him in the old double arm squeeze. <laughs> yeah. like, like Jerry Lawler and like and this like time Jim there's Ross. no one to get you out, Matty boy. No, seriously, like like um Jerry Lawler and Jim Ross are sitting off to the side. It's like like I'm amazed that these supers. <laughs> By these God, is that it's the double arm squeeze? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! These he is broken are going in half. All out of today. Yeah. Um, Peter shouted at both of them, trying to intervene between the two of them. Come on, Riley. Ben told his friend. Riley pushed off from the wall. He was just and leaning against the wall. Like a, backflip. He was just leaning yeah. against the wall like a cool guy. Yeah, Riley power walked away from the wall <laughs> and followed Ben and Abigail past Matthew. They made their way through the maze of tunnels and up the stairs, <laughs> only stopping when they were standing outside in the dirty alley, the frigid air cutting through their jackets. Where'd you so hide? Where'd you hide the book? Ben asked, putting on his hood. I gave it to Martha, the waitress at the diner. So they just... I guess, like, Matthew's done? Did they, like, knock him out? Kill yeah, they him? killed him. Is he just he sit- gave him the double arm Peter squeeze. No one's made it out of that tunnels. alive. Like, like Babe starts giving him the double arm squeeze, and Riley's like, like, come on, man, he doesn't deserve it. And Ben's like, fuck off. <laughs> He's gonna get squeezed. He hurt you, Riley. He deserves everything. And then some. Yeah. The waitress, why? The diner has a safe. It was the first place I could think of. Yeah, that makes sense. No, no, it doesn't. Don't <laughs> load of shit. Um, and then Ben again. Ben again, yeah. Was that, maybe that was Abigail, who knows. You sure we can trust her? Ben asked, curious. Y- yeah, I'm sure. All right, let's get in the car. It's freezing out here. I need to make a phone call. I can only make phone calls in cars. Yeah. It in really cars. sucks, the cell phone reception around here. You can only get it in cars. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, in cars. Maybe he has a car phone. <laughs> oh, man, I've always <laughs> wanted got, a car phone. He's got, like, 1960s Batman. He's got he a loved, little, ben, like, dial-up ben, phone Ben loves car. old history. Of course he'd use a car phone. Hey, car phones are cool, man. <laughs> yeah. Once they were in the car, Riley turns the heater up to full blast, warming his fingers on the heat register. His fingers again? Jesus, get better gloves, you motherfucker. He has mittens. He needs to get gloves. Ben explained the situation to Mrs. Harsham over the phone. She was incredibly shocked at Matthew's actions. Actually, uh, the reason his hands get so cold is he's still wearing the mittens his grandma made for him when he was five. (laughs) They just go over the tips of his fingers. (laughs) My grandson has been best friends with Matthew for most of his life. I've never seen a violent streak in him before. She instructed Ben to keep the book safe for a few days until she had a chance to talk to Peter and Matthew in person. Riley, Abigail, and Ben entered the diner and sat down at one of the tables. They removed their winter jackets and slung over the backs of their chairs. (laughs) Wait, wait. (laughs) Wasn't there another story where that happened where someone took off their jackets and slung themselves over a chair? (laughs) Let me just take my jacket off. Fuck the chair! (laughs) And then it's just like, they're just like limp, like just hanging off the back. Actually, you know what it was? was There was a story where someone took off their coat um, and then then threw over the couch. That's what they did. (laughs) And they threw themselves onto the couch, like over the back of the couch. Yeah. Um, Martha came to take their order of grilled cheese sandwiches and coffees. <laughs> the I best she combination. Already knew what she wanted. already knew what their order was. She yeah. just came to take it with grilled cheese Some, sandwiches and coffee. Somehow, she know, oh, well, I want to order before I even ask. <laughs> oh, no, she came to take their order away from them. <laughs> and She's into like, the trash. grilled cheese sandwiches <laughs> and coffee is a very bad combination. Who They're orders this shit? That. I should have yeah. never brought it out in the first place. <laughs> Wait, what is that? What is that from? Where it's like somehow I feel in my head. I know you. I know you want this before I even say. I don't know. I don't Probably know. A common mistake. There's so many fanfics that I'm not remembering right now. Let's see. So, do you need the book now? Martha asked Riley as she was writing out the order. Riley quickly shushed her and stood up to follow her into the kitchen. Martha led Riley and Ben to the walk-in freezer so they could talk freely, closing the door behind her. They're gonna get locked in. Are they standing in the fucking freezer? <laughs> yes! Because <laughs> wow. it's soundproof. It's soundproof. Riley, you should really put some ice on that bruise. It looks really painful. She told him, wrapping a frozen chicken cutlet in a napkin for yeah, him. Doesn't rub- she run a fucking the- diner? Yeah, rub a little salmonella on it. <laughs> 
he accepted it gratefully, applying it to the bruised area of his face. Martha, we were hoping you could hold on to that book for a few days more. One of our colleagues attacked Riley in an effort to get him to hand over the book, and we're trying to keep it out of the wrong hands. Namely, the hands that attack Riley. And... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There aren't many wrong hands, but that pair is definitely one of them. <laughs> I might have to give him the double hand squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't do that. You'll break all of his fingers. You'll break all of them. Yeah. Hold on one second. I'm sorry. I, do I, I can hear... I heard a little bit... Did I just hear someone rub a chicken cutlet on a wound? Yes. On their face. <laughs> yeah. How come Blake caught that salmonella thing? What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Why would you do that? <laughs> Turn my brain off. I'm on it's a off. chicken cutlet! <laughs> They're not as swag as me. I'm sorry, Bob. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I just You I, gotta... You know, sometimes you need to get salmonella, you know? Sometimes so, that's yeah. what you need. Yeah. You know what? If it if what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. Yeah, yeah. salmonella. If it doesn't kill you, you'll end up a lot stronger by the end of it. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, is that they're why they're gonna power? They're gonna power Riley up by giving him salmonella, and then <laughs> is it, is that why? Um, every time I go to the gym, I just see people swapping needles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everyone just they needs do, to get they ill. Do they do ten yeah, crunches, well, that's and then the only way you can get stronger. They do ten crunches, then reach to the right and inject a new needle into them. <laughs> yeah, they have to get so many diseases. It doesn't even have stuff in it. So they're just putting. They're just stabbing themselves with the tip, and then getting back to working out. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're just putting the air in their blood vessels. <laughs> just the tip, yeah. I'm sure, I can do that. Are we talking a few days? Probably. Can I have a phone number to reach you? Martha took a ballpoint pen out of her apron pocket and quickly scribbled the diner's phone number and her home phone number on a piece of paper and handed it to Ben. They thanked her, then returned to their dinner. So, at least something happened in that chapter. The thing is, is that the story is almost over. Yeah, we're more than halfway. Like nothing fucking happened. And nothing has fucking happened except one person got in a fight. Well, let's move on to chapter 10. We'll see what the consequences are. Will Riley's bruises recover? Will he get will the he salmonella? Get... Will he <laughs> yeah, will recover he get from salmon... the salmonella? Will he get stronger? Yeah. Will he play more Just Dance all by himself? <laughs> yeah. Nah, dude, nah. Nah, he's moving up to, uh, he's moving up to uh, Mario Party. <laughs> yeah. He's, oh gonna play, God, he's gonna play the best Wii game, Boogie. <laughs> Alright, chapter 10. Riley was sitting on his couch, browsing through Netflix, when his cell phone chirped. Beep! He, the noise indicated an incoming text message. An incoming text message? Yeah, yeah. It hadn't arrived yet? <laughs> Sometimes it makes a different noise when his phone sends a text without provocation. Bing! bing. Someone is sending you a text message. Bing! bing. We are downloading your text message. Bing! ding we sent a message for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, T-Mobile! God! He, uh, he picked up his phone and read the message from Ben. Riley, somebody broke into Mrs. Harsham's townhouse this morning. Heading out there now. I'll pick you up in ten minutes. Who do you think did it? Who 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 do you think did it? He, he's the, like, oh, I know. It's the uh, the 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 Illuminati. <laughs> he's like he's like Riley. Stand by the window, face away from it, and hold one hand in the air. Yeah. Riley stood up and brushed the chip crumbs off his jeans onto the floor. <laughs> we don't need he he brushed the Cheeto dust off of his jacket. <laughs> Man, just when I think they can't make him look more pathetic, they make him look more pathetic. Then you gotta tell me ahead of time, man. I need to, like, his entire floor is just coated in chip crumbs. That's all he eats. Yeah. <laughs> he has a, what a fat sack of shit. Like he has the thing of bacon and eggs flavored chips for breakfast. Oh, God. Maybe with some OJ flavored chips on the side. The breakfast burrito wasn't good enough, so he bought breakfast burrito flavored chips. Yeah. <laughs> All he eats are potato chips. Yeah. There's different variants for, you know, if it's got jalapeno or bacon or sausage. He particularly likes that um, amazing uh, chicken club that, chips for lunch. That's how they get you. Sure, you can buy, you know, three for five dollars, but if you're not a fat sack of shit, you can buy zero for zero dollars. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's, that's the secret. Um, 
He grabbed his jacket and slipped into his sneakers. He put on his hat and mitts, then went outside to wait for Ben. Aw, oh, man, what a scrub. You don't slip into sneakers, you sneak into sneakers. Yeah, you slide into sneakers. You slip into slippers, and you um snap into Slim Jims. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. As soon as they were on the road, Ben started to explain what was going on. He's like, uh, Ben, what's going on? He's like, wait, we gotta get on the road. Peter had called Ben to tell him that somebody had broken into... He texted him. <laughs> what <laughs> Oh my god, it's the return of... Maybe they were trying. Maybe they kept misspelling the name and they tried to fix it. Cause find and replace it, it, is the only thing I can think of. It can't be Mrs. Harsham because she showed up earlier this chapter. I know. That's what I was saying. Maybe he misspelled Mrs. Harsham and was trying to fix it. And cause find and replace is the only way this could happen. Find and replace all bad variants of Mrs. Mrs. Harsham and then just <laughs> and he yeah, accidentally replaced into... it with a with blank somehow. I mean, how else would that happen? Yeah, it used to be Mrs. Hashram, and we were going to make a great joke about Hashrams, but now it's just... So now we're making great jokes about... House. Yeah. Yeah. They'd trashed her place, destroying Allet of her furniture. (laughs) Oh no, not the Allet! Yeah. It appeared that they were looking for something, as nothing of value had been taken. What? Who do you think they are? Except the monetary value of all the stuff that they destroyed. Do you think it was somebody after the book? Riley asked. No, it wasn't. I don't know, probably. Fuck both of you. <laughs> Look. Maybe it was Matthew. Wow. Well, Riley suggested. May- maybe. <laughs> Two second mysteries with Riley Poole. <laughs> Two second mysteries. <laughs> yeah. With a guest appearance by Benedict Cumberbatch. Ben agreed that this was a definite possibility. Despite the fact that he just verbally <laughs> agreed two sentences ago. Huh, you know what? You may have something there, Riley. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I think you're onto something, but how? No one can survive the double arm squeeze. Yeah. Maybe he got in while she was out. I agree with that, Riley. That's probably the case. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe she came home and she called the police. I, also, I agree with that, Riley. Probably she did. And that's how we know. <laughs> They Basically, drove... just shut the fuck up, Riley. <laughs> they drove to her townhouse as fast as they could. Yeah, because Ben a... doesn't want to have any more questions. Yeah. There was a police car parked on the street in front of the townhouse. Riley spotted Peter's vehicle down the road. They were able to walk right into the townhouse as the door was wide open. It looked like someone had pried it open with a crowbar. Peter was standing in the living room talking to a policewoman. The interior of Mrs. Harsham's house was very different than the last time Riley had visited, when she'd invited everyone for dinner. Many of the family photographs were still on the wall, but a large assortment of knickknacks were smashed. They just <laughs> smashed knickknacks. Yeah. They're like, Why? Oh, man, look, at the, look at these fucking snow globes. Fuck them. Yeah. Uh, this oh man, I'm looking face. for the book. <laughs> it's not in the snow globe. What the fuck? That's where you would hide one. For every place I don't find the book, I smash something else. Exactly. <laughs> the couch and armchair were covered in slash marks, the stuffing leaking out. Why? A few of the kitchen cupboards were hanging askew on their hinges. Their Gotta con- make sure you, Their you contest the strewn on the kitchen floor. <laughs> <laughs> no contest. <laughs> Food, zero. <laughs> Robber, one. The carpet had been torn up and a few of the floorboards were lifted. Mrs. Harsham looked visibly shaken as she sat on a wooden chair, still wearing her winter boots and jacket. She had her head in her hands. <laughs> a young-looking police officer took pictures of the damage with a digital camera, then moved on to the next room. I needed to know that. Why? It's setting the scene, okay? Oh, hurry up, this is so fucking boring. We don't want to make any jokes about... The, the author doesn't want us making jokes about how the police don't give a shit... You know? I assumed the police would be giving a shit. I didn't need to hear every detail. Ben walked back to the living room to talk to Peter, leaving Riley standing awkwardly in the kitchen. <laughs> Riley's what? just like, Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> You know what? We don't even need to make jokes. This this, this story does it for us. He's like, uh, <laughs> did they destroy any of the chips? I'm really looking are, for my uh, midday chips. Are, are you a real cop? Wow. <laughs> I always wanted to be a cop, but they said it would be hard. I don't like I always wanted to be a Power Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> Riley, 
Riley walked over to her and put his hand on her arm hesitantly. <laughs> he didn't want to touch her. She was that old. She like turned to dust. <laughs> she, she, he just, she just like poof. He, After, he didn't want to get his fingers all over a potential murder. You yeah, know, he, her just dying. He was afraid that he might give her a single arm squeeze. He was afraid he might give her salmonella. You know. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Harsham. <laughs> Ow, my shoulder. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> After a moment, she lowered her hands from her face. Mrs. Harsham's eyes were red from crying, and she looked miserable. Mrs. Harsham, are you okay? Riley asked her, bending down beside her. You weren't hurt, were you? She shook her head. I wasn't here when it happened. I was at the grocery store with Peter. My house is ruined, though. (laughs) Yeah. Riley told her. (laughs) Yeah. No, the be- the be- next one is best. Yeah. That's good. That you weren't here, I mean. Oh. Not about your house being ruined. Oh. They might have hurt you. Really? You think they might have hurt me? And the Detective Riley Poole strikes again. <laughs> she looked like she was about to cry again. He hated to see anyone cry. So he, he held a pillow over her face. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Dry those tears, pillow. Dry those tears. You'll never be sad again. <laughs> <laughs> what movie? What movie is that where there's like somebody crying and the person like holds the pillow over their face? I don't know. I'm like I'm forget- I I, I'm making references to things that I, I forget the name of. There's like a uh, movie where that specifically happens. Though. There's like a crazy like retarded person. They do that. Riley wrapped his arms around her, trying to console her. She hugged him back, squeezing him pretty hard. She finally let go and took a moment to wipe her eyes on the sleeve of her jacket. Thanks, son. He's like, yeah, she told yeah, him. I'm your son. And she's like, well, no, it's just an expression, you idiot. Oh. Uh, Riley smiled at her, pulling her to her feet. <laughs> Sorry. Just just thinking about it. We can, we can help you clean up. Riley told her, looking around the room. He started. <laughs> he started to pick up some of the broken dishes. Hey, what the and, fuck? Don't touch that. That's evidence. He you started to pick face. up some of the broken dishes and pile them onto the kitchen counter. <laughs> <laughs> Helpful. Just randomly. Just <laughs> He's cleaning everything. up. Uh, Mrs. Harsham left the room, returning with a broom and a bucket of to cleaning beat, supplies. To beat, to <laughs> beat Riley with. Yeah. <laughs> she, she handed the broom to Riley before pulling out a washcloth and a spray bottle of cleaner. Ben and Peter started working on the living room and hallway, piling up the furniture that needed replacing. Just piling it up! Just yeah. put it in a big yeah, pile! Yeah, in the corner. <laughs> Dude, no, 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 You know what? She's about to have a house of odd ends. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> y- you know, this is how that room happened. That one room down in the catacombs, you know, where it was just broken furniture piled up in a corner? You remember oh, that? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's gonna Dude, turn out it's that, odd was, that was Mrs. Harsham's, you know, last home <laughs> before this one. All right. Well, that was another episode of Fan Letters. All in a day's work. For Riley Pool, twenty-seven. We'll see you next time.